Delta State, where five days after his release from military detention, the King of Ewu Kingdom, Clement Ikolo, has returned to the state after three weeks in custody. Governor Sheriff Oburewori received him at the government house. Ikenamichi reports. Declared wanted alongside seven others, the Ewu King later turned himself in. But after three weeks in custody, he was released and today he has returned home accompanied by his wife. He was later received by Governor Oborowori here at Government House. Because you are innocent, you have been released. There's no need to fear. You are against national rulers. That anyone that tonight they will face the wrath of the law. I told them when I went to visit them. And I'm happy today you have been released. The charge before you today is to put a wall together. I want to assure you that people in your kingdom, the innocent citizens of that kingdom, will not suffer. We will do our best to resettle them back for the Gaza process. I am deeply saddened by the loss of our gallant members of the armed forces and the untold hardship and displacement suffered by the Okwama community as a result of the actions of unknown elements. Earlier, the governor inaugurated IDP management committee to bring succor to the displaced persons of Okwama. Governor Oborowori also received members of the House of Representatives Committee on Defense. It is a fact-finding mission and we believe that the outcome of this outing will help the community in getting to the root of this matter with a view to finding lasting and sustainable solutions. We therefore seek Mr. Governor's support to enable us to have a successful hearing here. Let me reiterate that this is not a vindictive exercise but a critical fact-finding task that will enable the National Assembly Assembly reach objective conclusions on this matter. The House Committee on Defense will on Thursday hold an investigative public hearing in Wari about the killing of the 17 military personnel in Okwama, Ikenna Ameichi.